My name is Ray Lubick. Uh, my wife Nancy and I operate a grain and vegetable farm in Chesterfield Township. Uh, we've been out here for, I've been operating for about 40 years. Our family has run this farm for about 70 years. Uh, I operate, uh, we grow quite a few vegetables and operate a, a vegetable stand uh, selling sweet corn, tomatoes, watermelons, cantaloupes, a good variety of other fruits and vegetables. We do buy produce in uh, from local farmers as much as we can, New Jersey product as much as we can, and fill in with product from other parts of the United States where it's not available in, in New Jersey. Well, this farm has about 60 acres on it, which is preserved. My brother Mike has a farm right next door, has about 60 acres of, uh, on his farm, which is preserved as well. I operate another 60 or 70 acres mostly in, in uh, 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 grain, which is from nearby farms, and um, some of that ground is preserved and some is not. Our two main crops are probably sweet corn and tomatoes, but we grow a variety of other vegetables. We have uh, peppers, eggplants, watermelons, cantaloupes, winter squash, summer squash, pumpkins, uh, string beans, and pretty much a, m most of the small crops like that that you can think of we try to grow uh, a few years ago we started growing potatoes again we grow some onions some leeks you know mostly on a very small scale we have a csa it's it's kind of a unique csa that we set up it's we call it a farmer's choice csa where uh, anybody that buys into it whether they buy a full share or a half share pretty much has their choice of anything that they want on the farm whether we grow it or buy it in if they want to buy bags of corn for freezing or baskets of tomatoes for processing, all they got to do is give us the order, and as long as we have it, we'll fill the order. Pretty, it's a unique approach, and you don't have to take just what we're growing. And my brother taught at Northern Burlington for 43 years, and he was uh, with the FFA, and through the years, we've employed students of his but also other local uh, students. Well, I, I think it's important to try to promote agriculture as much as we can. Uh, the hard thing about farming is all of the different ins and outs and just learning a little bit from somebody that has a little bit of experience because most of what you do in farming isn't just by the book. I mean there's a lot of things you can learn from a book but experience does a lot more as far as teaching people. Plus, if they're out here working, they're, they're gaining a work ethic. A lot of the kids that have worked for me come back and thank me for what, you know, their experience here. But we do some horse-drawn hay rides. I have a cousin that has a couple of draft horses, and two or three weekends out of the year, we will have him come out and we'll do hay rides to the field, to the pumpkin fields, and of course then it's kind of a pick-your-own operation there. And we also do, the past two years, we've done a benefit for the Farmers Against Hunger with a dinner. And that's, that usually generates a fair amount of money for you know, a good cause. And as well as during the year, I mean, we, we, we do donate extra produce we have to the Farmers Against Hunger. Um, I've been in several ag organizations. I was with the Burlington County Board of Ag for six years. Um, at the present time, they have me as the um, uh, agent to the uh, CIES Board of Managers up in New Brunswick. So I've been there for, I think, four years now. And with the FFA, I was active with the FFA when I was in high school. Um, and as far as other organizations, you know, I mean, uh, I've, I've done several things with, with other organizations. My wife and I actually operate most of the business here. My brother Gerard uh, retired two years ago, and, and even before his retirement, was pretty active with the farm with me. Uh, he, he, you know, the family's fairly well-rounded as far as what they can do. Well, I think we fit well into the community. Uh, we've, over the years, we started out our farm stand off of a little table, and from that grew to like a 10 by 12 building and from that, I put up the 30 by 50 building that we're operating out of now. And the business has pretty much grown every year. Well, we do several tailgate markets. We do two markets on Thursdays and one market on Wednesdays. 
as far as in the community itself, I, I think most of the people in the area appreciate our product. I think we try to grow a, a good quality product and we stand behind it. And over the years, I've, it, you, know, there's, you can look around and you'll see a lot of other vegetable stands popping up here and there. And, and people have said to me, you know, aren't you concerned about the competition? And I tell them, I'm not concerned about the competition because there's plenty of business for everybody, number one. And I think as long as you're putting out a good product and you stand behind your product, you're going to keep your customers. And I think as far as, as, far as everything that we do, I think, I think we've been fairly successful. And I think the, the people in the community appreciate what we do, appreciate our product, and they support us quite well.